All right, I'm going to make a video about this because there's not really any videos about it. There are posts on a lot of posts on forums, and Nvidia has recognized this as an issue uh, that is their fault. Um, there's a defect physically with the device, other than the Wi-Fi issues that people are actually having, um, and a lot of people have this issue, including myself. And yeah, when when you get something when it was when it's recently launched, uh, you should I guess now you should expect uh, some physical issues. Apparently, uh, well, happened with my Nexus Seven. And if you see, let me see if I get that on camera. You see that little weird looking area, that sloppy looking thing. Well, there's a crack there. Uh, it starts off as a hairline crack and basically gets worse. Uh, also, a lot of times more cracks will uh, form. I have two now as of today. I had one yesterday and now on both sides I have cracks. I filled them with with super glue because I can't do anything about it. I got mine from GameStop and GameStop will not uh, offer a... Um, they will not um, replace it even though even you know the... even Nvidia said this is their fault um, if you got it from NVIDIA, you can have the tablet replaced, you can RMA it, however, um, there's nothing saying that you will not get another tablet with this problem. So there are, there's a crack, it's normally, there's a seam on all four sides, it's a straight line, it looks, it resembles a crack, when you're, especially when you're looking for a crack. Um, if I can find a seam, the seams are very hard to see. Um, I don't even think I could bring it up on the camera, but the seams are very hard to see. You will have four. They're straight lines, but the cracks always, 100% always stem from, they come from the seams. They branch off from the seams, almost like a tree branch, kind of, and they'll go, like, off this weird angle from the bottom of, or from the end of the seam, and it will branch up kind of like over that way. Maybe not that big, but it'll be like that. And normally they're very small and they're hard to see. These cracks are really hard to see. Uh, but they could very well uh, get bigger with time. Um, and uh, all I could really do, unfortunately, because I got mine from GameStop, is <laughs> take some uh, super glue and fill in the cracks to try to reinforce it so that it doesn't get worse. And then I kind of buffed it out so that you can't really see it as much as it was. Like, you can see it, but you, you have to be kind of looking for it. So I just don't want it to annoy me. Uh, so I've, I've actually kind of sanded it a little with a sanding box is ridiculous three hundred dollars I mean yeah you, you get a lot of hardware here but it, just a three hundred dollar device you don't think you'd have to be doing like filling it with glue and sanding it and Frankensteining the shit out of it um so yeah there are they are forming cracks now what I would suggest definitely is if you have not purchased the, the device and you are feeling like you want to wait please wait um really you should always but I, I I can't I have no patience and I just always, I just buy it uh, that's what uh, my Nexus 7 2000 oh well, actually the first Nexus 7 and the 2013 had screen issues and those were the first uh, devices before a few revisions that fixed the problem the one that I just recently sold had a slight screen issue came to stop didn't know though it had a slight screen issue. I don't know that it was too slight because it pissed me off. I, like around this area and this area, it was very hard to get it to register a touch. Every now and then it would register an extra touch, um, which made it really hard. It not really, really hard to use, but it made it a little, the user experience kind of sucked. Um, the performance was good, but yeah, that's what this was going to replace. I knew there was going to be something physically wrong with the device that I was going to regret uh, not waiting for but yeah so that's the crack other issues that people have are mostly with the Wi-Fi um, you know some one guy had a an awkward issue or the screen I don't know the screen had a really weird issue it was like 
the, the navigation bar showed up at the bottom and the top of the screen. It was like halfway on the top of the screen, and then when he scrolled through everything, the screen would tear and do weird stuff. But, you know, if that guy sees this video and you haven't decided to take that back, please, it's a hardware issue, take it back. Uh, send it back, uh, whatever. But, yeah, I actually would probably recommend that if you have this and you can have it uh, even returned, please return it, wait until they revise it and fix the issue. Um, do not buy the tablet. Do not, 100%, do not buy this tablet until that issue is confirmed to be fixed. So, that's that. I just wanted to show it because well, there's nobody out there... I don't know if people are afraid to uh, say something ill of the tablet uh, or something, but there it is. Um, so it's a great tablet performance-wise. It's been working great, but, I mean, that can't be like that, and they need to revise that. Uh, wait on the purchase. I'm sure it will get better, but wait. <laughs>